Hello, tonight we're working on problems 7 through 9. For problem 7, we're going to be starting out by, you can draw your circle if you need to, or your coordinates. So you'll do 4, 8, 12, and then not all the way because that would be 16. So here's 15. We're looking at this angle right here, and that angle is pi over 4. We are down in the bottom right quadrant and we're working with secant. Secant means that it is 1 over cosine. Our cosine is our x. So for this it will be 2 root 2. So negative 2 root 2. You can use your unit circle for this if you need to. For problem 8 we need to find angle A, we need to find side B, and side C. Angle A, we're going to say the 180 minus the 90 minus 35, and that's going to be 55 degrees. For side B, right now we are looking for the opposite side, and we have the adjacent side, so we'll say tangent of 35 equals b over 6. When we do this all, we'll have b equals 6 tan 35, and that equals just about 4.2. For side c, we're going to say cosine of 35 equals c over 6, so c is going to equal 6 cosine 35. Plug that into your calculator and you should end up with about 4.9. For problem 9, we can draw our coordinates again. So this takes 3, 6, 8. And we're looking at this angle right here. That is pi over 3. We are in the bottom left quadrant, so quadrant 3. And cosecant is the same. It's 1 over sine. So the sine would be the y coordinate for that, which is, so sine is that negative root 3 over 2. So this cosecant is going to be negative 2 over root 3. If you have any questions on this, please reach out. Otherwise, have a good night, and we'll see you in class tomorrow.